Double block and out. And the Huskers, for the first time in five years, are Big Ten champs. Yes, what a weekend it was for Nebraska. And joining us now is senior outside hitter Katie Rolson. And, of course, the NCAA tournament announcement came out with you guys ranked number one in the country. We'll get to that in a second. But i got to ask you about that Big Ten title. Now, according to me, you guys kind of did this backwards. The senior class went out and won a <laughs> national championship first, and then the year later you go and win a Big Ten conference championship. Yep, so, I mean, I guess you could say it's backwards, but that's just been one of our goals as a senior class was to just win um, the Big Ten Championship and a National Championship, and we didn't get the Big Ten Championship last year, but we were able to check that off our list this year. In the toughest volleyball conference in the country, what does it mean to get a Big Ten title this year? Yeah, so Coach Cook every day always says how much of a grind the Big Ten is and how um, it prepares you for the tournament and how you have to play back-to-back -back ranked teams every night. And um, it could not be even more true this year with the top three teams in the country um, playing in the Big Ten. And it's just you have to go out there and you have to play your game every single night. And that's just what we did um, the whole conference season. And it's just prepared us now that the tournament starts this weekend. In a, in a conversation with your coach, John Cook, earlier in the season, he talked about your team's focus and the fact that you guys would pick almost a theme every week to keep kind of that narrow yep. focus. Can you talk about what was the most impactful way for you personally to have kept your focus throughout the year with that strategy? Um, well, yeah, so we did do themes every week and we did themes throughout the whole summer and throughout the whole season. But I think me personally, it was more of um, just reminding myself that I'm a senior and, um, you know, all four of us were looked to to lead this team and just keeping that mindset of um, we're looked to by the underclassmen and we have to show up every single day, work hard and um, do our role and um, just go out there every single day and show them um, how much work we have to put in and what this whole, all means to all of us. It's quite a senior class. You have your sister Amber, of course, the libero Justine Juanarantes, and Andy Malloy, the transfer from Baylor. How do you yep. describe the four players who have made up this, this senior class this year? Yeah, and I'm actually going to just add Kelly Hunter to that class just because we all came in together. So um, it's just been great um, getting here and the majority of us played here as freshmen, so we've been playing together for four years, and we just have a feel on the court where we just know where each other are at, and especially with Andy coming in this year, it was just an easy transition, and um, a couple of us had played with her before, so um, we kind of knew how she was as a player and as a person, and um, it was just exciting to go out there and know we had each other's backs day in and day out. NCAA selection committee put you as the number one overall seed. You guys have been the target, though, all season long. How have you been able to handle that target? Uh, Coach Cook just does a really good job every day of um, forcing us to focus just on who we're playing next, not focusing on who we might be playing or who we're going to play after, but we just go in every single day. Um, he, we get better one rep at a time. That's kind of his motto, um, day by day, practice by practice, whatever it is. How do you describe this team going into the NCAA tournament versus last year's team? Um, I mean, every year is different, but this team, we just have a vibe that um, it's really good right now, and uh, we just love each other. We just lo have great team chemistry, and um, we just know what our goals are, and we know um, what each other's roles are out there on the court. So I just think um, we just have a special group of girls out there this year, and um, if we just work together, I think uh, one of our goals can also be achieved at the end of the year. Well, you've got one goal in the Big Ten Championship, and we wish you luck in hunting down that next goal of the national championship. Katie Rolfson, thank you for joining us. Thanks.